Well, my co-host had an interesting, some might say, colourful night last colourful. night. He went to Mardi Gras. Indeed I did. And somehow I managed to make it here for the show this morning in one piece. The event, the event, was huge. After all, it's one of the biggest gay pride festivals in the world. Take a look. <laughs> It's the most colourful, glamorous and fabulous gay pride event in the world. Nice to have you in Australia. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. That's um, for me. <laughs> Unfortunately not. And here's the traditional send-off. The dykes on bikes leading out the parade. There are some very impressive bikes here and a couple of lemons. Welcome to the 31st Sydney Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras. What are you riding tonight? Um, I'm riding a Harley Davidson. This is the most impressive facial hair on the parade route tonight. How long have you been working on this? Oh, since I was a baby. You're with the Freemasons float? Yes. Can you show me the secret handshake? 77 nations, ladies and gentlemen. This year's theme is Nations United, and the event is focusing on the human rights of gay people around the world. How's it going so far, mate? Very good. Yeah. Where are you That's from? I'm from Russia. From Russia! Yeah. Nations United! Among the celebrity guests, US comedian Joe Rivers. It's amazing! They don't know who I am. They think I'm an old gay hairdresser. <laughs> Every single walk of life is represented. The whole Nations United team is really spot on because everyone from everywhere is joining in the celebration. It's really one of the world's great festivals of inclusion. Only happens once a year, but the idea is to make it last all year long. Although tomorrow morning, I think a lot of these people will think they've been partying for a year already. Olympic diving gold medalist Matthew Mitchum is this year's chief of parade. So here he is, the chef to parade. How's it feel, Matt? Oh, uh, you know what? I always can't describe this. is just as electric as it was at the Olympics. And I thought I'd seen it all. Is it true that people have been gay in Australia for over 40,000 years? Yes, 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 Namaste. Sawati. That's why it's Nations United. Loving it. Hello, everyone. Oh, you are a goose. That was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, look, despite the uh, global economic crisis, uh, the um, people really had come from all over the world to be part of the Nations mm. United theme. It was fantastic. I met uh, Bangladeshis, uh, Indians, Russians, as mm. you see, Strasvutia, to those still partying. Uh, and people, yeah, really people from uh, a great from number of nations. What was, was the best float? Um, what was the best? Well, there were a couple of very irreverent ones. Um, ones that sort of, you know, lamp lampooning the various churches, mm. which had gone to a lot of trouble. The dancing cardinals, I thought, were fantastic, and the guy in the Pope Mobile uh, was really something. <laughs> but, yeah, there are a lot of fantastic floats around. It was cool. And, and we want a deal or no deal um, float next year. Well, I do it's keep so promising a deal or no deal float. Well, I've, I've traditionally thought of it as 26 trannies dressed up as DLS. Um, yes. And, um, you know, because well, people say they look like that anyway. That's oh. no, no offence to the no, girls. I don't think tough. you do, but people say that. Uh, but don't you think 26 training yeah, dresses? Yeah, I love it. With briefcases. Well, I was thinking maybe me on the front wearing nothing but a smile and a well-positioned briefcase. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, to keep the crowds we'd have away. to just you know, get real crowd control <laughs> that night, wouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Or why not just, um, you know, lesbians? Why, why go to the trains? We could go lesbians. Mm. Some very, very spunky lesbians at the parade last night. Mm. Anyway, I could, I could carry on all night. <laughs> I was talking to a couple of really spunky <laughs> lesbians and I said, uh, would you mind if I have a watch? And so they gave me a watch. And it was very unfortunate. 